What's up guys? I want to do another quick video for you because I'm getting rid of another vehicle when I get my truck tomorrow. So if you missed the Sierra video, I'll leave a link down in the description. You can go check that out. And today I'm going to be getting rid of my Harley Davidson. And yes, she is very dirty, so bear with me. This is a 2012 Road Glide and man was it a lot of fun it's just i'm at a stage of my life where i can't use it anymore so i need a truck that can tow and that's what i'm going to be trading it in on so let's go through what i did to it i blacked out the forks myself gave it a meaner better look i did not like the brushed nickel look that it had originally it has some aftermarket highway pegs so you can really stretch out and relax. It has a stage three k and exhaust kit on it with a Screaming Eagle air intake. Got the floorboards right there, passenger pegs. hard bags for extra storage. I blacked out the tips myself. I also blacked out this chrome um, blinker light. Smoke lenses, had to change out the bulb with that. Aftermarket luggage rack that unclips pretty easily. Aftermarket passenger backrest, which also unclips easy. It's got the 103 cubic inch motor. Aftermarket windshield deflector, which threw the wind over my head a lot better than what the uh, stock one did, which was like right in your face. Aftermarket Harley Davidson speakers with front storage right here. This is a nice thing to have when you're riding. Has your AM, FM, CD, radio with MP3 options that I ran into the fender and hooked it up into over here so you can plug your phone in. It has cruise control. If you never experienced cruise control on a motorcycle, that's amazing. It's an amazing feature to have. I only put 8,600 miles on it. So whoever gets this bike is definitely getting a steal. Here's your cruise control setting, blinker, start, buttons, horn, lights, and audio controls right here it also has a if you rock that forward it's like a cool down feature it kind of helps cool the bike down if it's overheating so i got it in neutral right now let's start it up flip that switch let it prime Get the radio. Speakers are really loud. Try not to get copyrighted right there. 
item that's pretty weird about these Harleys actually is it has a lock feature and technically it doesn't need a key to start. If you just lock this over, you have to take your key like so. to lock your bike up so no one steals it. That's how you lock your bike. That's it. It does not need a key to start. Um, also, show you how to open the bags here. You flip this up. I know they improved on this feature. I don't really like it. You need two hands to do it for the most part. You unhook it from there and then it flops open. Like so. It also has lockable storage right there. So if you're traveling and you need to lock that up. There you go. So yeah, I'm getting rid of this guy tomorrow also. Trading it in for the truck. It's going to be sad to see her go and my truck go. Uh, it's going to be a sad day tomorrow, but i got to do it. i got to get that better truck. One other feature is I smoked out bulbs and lens up there, too. It's your front and forward shifter right there. So, yeah, it's time to see her go to a good home. That's gonna do it for the Harley Davidson guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Whoever gets this bike is gonna have a steal right here. It's only got 8,600 on it. It's an amazing bike. And it unfortunately has depreciated in value a lot. And I'm very upset about that. But like I said, it's a 2012, 8,600 miles. Hope it goes to a good home. That's going to do it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember, get outside and keep riding. I'll catch you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode.